These symbolic finger, eye, and body postures can vividly depict certain states or processes of consciousness. Mudras engage certain areas of the brain and exercise a corresponding influence on them. We can effectively engage and influence our body and our mind by bending, crossing, extending, or touching the fingers with other fingers. Origin of Mudras The origin of the mudras is a mystery. Mudras are not only found in Asia, but they are also used throughout the entire world. In their rituals, our European ancestors certainly were familiar with specific gestures, which they used to underline and seal what they thought and wanted to say. During the Christianization of the Nordic peoples, many gestures were initially prohibited, such as invoking the gods with raised arms. Later, these gestures were partially integrated into the Christian teachings. If we observe the various gestures made by a priest saying the Mass, we can perhaps sense how these ancient peoples express themselves. But our everyday life is also characterized by gestures, the origins of which hardly anyone knows today. Crossing our fingers for someone, clapping our hands as applause, the handshake, holding hands, or giving someone the finger to display our low opinion of them. Hand therapies. The following illustrations will show you various traditions that work with hand energy. This isn't meant to confuse you, but to show you how tremendously diverse this system is. If you take an exact look at it, you will even come across logical inconsistencies. These occur because the individual systems engage various levels, connected like threads that get lost in mysterious unfathomableness, and probably interconnect there. With a bit of imagination, you can put together your own program of hand exercises. You can't do anything wrong here if you carry out every movement slowly and consciously. Ayurveda. People trained in this Indian art of healing consider every illness to be an imbalance within the human body. Healing can take place when the natural balance has been restored. They recognize that the conscious mind creates the disease and that consciousness is an energy that manifests itself in the five basic principles or elements. If there is too much or too little of any one element, an imbalance occurs, disease. This is restored through corresponding measures. The Chinese also have their five element theory. Acupressure. Next to acupuncture, acupressure is the best-known Chinese healing method in the Western countries. Instead of using needles, the meridians are stimulated with the fingers. In these two illustrations, you can see the corresponding points. The non-expert can simply press them lightly with the thumb for several minutes to achieve a positive effect. Reflex zones. The hand reflex zones correspond to the foot reflex zones the massage treatment of which is generally known today. Both of these illustrations show the reflex points or surfaces that are connected with the muscles and organs. Since some of the organs are only found on one side of the body, such as the heart and liver, this is reflected in the hands. Since hands come in different sizes, you may not find the exact pressure point immediately. But with some practice, even the non-expert can find the right spot. When you have found the desired point, Massage it with your thumb, using light pressure and slow, circular movements. One to three minutes are enough. Meridians and Deep Meridians Meridians are the energy paths that run through the body and control its individual functions, circulation, respiration, digestion, and individual organs. The beginning and ending points of the meridians are taken into particular consideration by the mudras. In acupuncture, only the superficial meridians are considered, and the system of deep meridians is often even rejected as being speculative. Since the effect of many mudras only became clear to me once I learned about the deep meridians, I am also presenting this system here. Try encircling your finger around your little finger more often. This is good for your heart. If you tend to be chilled easily or susceptible to illness, 
then encircle or massage your ring finger. The power of hand mudras and their meaning. Kubera Mudra, dedicated to the god of wealth, Kubera. Place the tip of your thumb, index finger, and middle finger together. Bend the other two fingers so they rest in the middle of your hand. Do this with each hand. The Kubera Mudra can be used for a great variety of concerns. It doesn't matter how long it is practiced, but it does matter that you do it with intensity. Many people already know it as the three-finger technique and use it when they want to put more force behind their plans for the future. It always involves goals that people want to reach or wishes that they would like to have fulfilled. With the three closed fingers, additional strength is given to the matter and thought. It is obvious that something happens when the fingers of Mars, forcefulness, Jupiter, exuberant joy, and Saturn, fixation on the essential, and passing through new gateways, join forces. Putting this mudra to specific use in everyday life is quite fun. It also gives us inner repose, confidence, and serenity. Apan mudra, energy mudra. With each hand, place the thumb, middle finger, and ring finger together. Extend the other fingers. When needed, do for five to 45 minutes or use three times a day for 15 minutes as a course of treatment. This mudra supports the removal of waste materials and toxins from the body, as well as eliminating urinary problems, according to Kashav Dev. The Apan mudra also stimulates the wood element, which is associated with the energy of the liver and gallbladder. This element also contains the power and pleasure of springtime, of new beginnings, of tackling and shaping visions of the future. In addition, the Apan Mudra has a balancing effect on the mind, which is largely dependent on a well-functioning liver. It gives us patience, serenity, confidence, inner balance, and harmony. In the mental realm, it creates the ability to develop vision. You need all of this when you look into the future while facing new challenges, and if your wishes are to be fulfilled. Tse Mudra, exercise of the three secrets. Place both hands on your thighs. Put the thumb tip onto the root of your little finger. Slowly encircle your thumb with the other four fingers while slowly inhaling through your nose. Hold your breath and form the sound of Om seven times in your head while hearing the vibration of the tone in your right ear. Then slowly exhale while drawing in the abdominal wall. Open your hands again and imagine all your worries, fears, and unhappiness leaving your body. Repeat this exercise seven to 49 times, but at least seven times, according to the Taoist monks. Kim Tong, an authority on Chinese medicine writes, Tradition says that this mudra chases away sadness, reduces fearfulness, turns away misfortune and bad luck, and overcomes depressions. It is known to increase personal magnetism and enhance the intuitive and mental powers. Shiva Linga, energy charging mudra. Place your right hand with the thumb extended upward on top of your left hand, which is shaped like a bowl. Hold the fingers of your left hand close together. Position your hands at the level of the abdomen with your elbows pointing outward and slightly forward. Do as often as you like or two times a day for four minutes. The right hand in this mudra symbolizes the masculine force, Shiva's phallus. Shiva embodies the destructive and transformative aspect of the highest deity in Indian mythology. Just as the phallus is the symbol of a new beginning, Shiva is the deity who makes this new beginning possible in the first place by destroying something, thereby creating the necessary preconditions. If, for example, flowers wouldn't wilt, there would also be no fruit. Or if the spent cells within us were not destroyed, there would be proliferations. It is an eternal cycle and must function perfectly within us on the physical and mental emotional levels. An inner force keeps it going, and each of us has this force within our reservoir, which is associated with the water element. The breath nourishes this reservoir of energy, 
The water element has its effect on the outer edge of the hand and the palm. And the thumb is like an inflow for energy, which is absorbed through the lungs. This mudra can be used against tiredness, dissatisfaction, listlessness, and depression. Or we can use it when we feel drained because of long periods of tension or strain. Shakti Mudra, in honor of Shakti, the goddess of life energy. Place your ring fingers and little fingers together. The other fingers are loosely bent over your thumbs, which are placed in your palm. Focus on your breathing in the pelvic area and slow down exhalation somewhat. Do as needed, or three times a day for 12 minutes. The Shakti Mudra intensifies the respiratory impulse in the lower chest area. You can increasingly perceive breathing in the pelvic area. It has a calming effect and will help you fall asleep at night. If it is done too often or held for too long, it may also lead to lethargy. It can bring pleasant relaxation to the pelvic area. As a result, it can counteract spasms in the intestines or even menstrual complaints. Uttara Bodhi Mudra, Mudra of the Highest Enlightenment. Place both hands folded in front of your solar plexus at the level of your stomach. Lay the respective index fingers and thumbs on each other. Point your index fingers upward to the ceiling and your thumbs downward to the floor or stomach. If you are lying down, the tips of your thumbs may lie at the lower end of your sternum. The Uttara Bodhi Mudra can be held anywhere at any time and for as long as you want. You can use this mudra when you feel physically and mentally listless, when you want to relax, or when you need a rousing idea, a flash of inspiration. This mudra strengthens the metal element, which is associated with the energy of the lungs and large intestine. It strengthens inhalation, and since the heart and upper lung areas are particularly opened when this mudra is done, it has a refreshing effect. The metal element has a direct relationship with the nervous system and anything that conducts electrical or energetic impulses. These are both the internal and external paths that connect human beings with the surrounding world and the cosmic forces. The metal element conducts the universal life force, also called chi or prana, from the outside to the inside, and is also responsible for charging the inner power reservoirs. Test the effect of this mudra. You will be amazed. Hakini Mudra. Hakini, God of the Forehead, Sixth Chakra. Place all the fingertips together. The Hakini Mudra can be practiced at any time. When you would like to remember something or want to find the red thread again, place your fingertips together, direct your eyes upward, place the tip of your tongue on your gums while inhaling, and let the tongue fall again while exhaling. Then take a deep breath, and what you wanted should immediately occur to you. Moreover, when you must concentrate on something for a longer period of time, could use some good ideas, or want to remember something that you've read, this mudra can be useful. When doing mental work, don't cross your feet. Sit with your eyes facing west. This mudra can do true wonders and you should always keep it in the back of your mind in case of an emergency. In terms of science, this finger position has been researched quite well. Researchers have determined that it promotes the cooperation between the right and left brain hemispheres. It is also recommended today in memory training and management courses. It is said to open access to the right hemisphere, which is where the memory is stored. This mudra also improves and deepens respiration and the brain profits from it as well. Matangi Mudra. Matangi, God of inner harmony and royal rulership. Fold your hands in front of your solar plexus, stomach area. Point both middle fingers and place against each other. Direct your attention to the breath in the solar plexus or stomach area. Do as needed, or three times a day for four minutes. This mudra strengthens the breathing impulse in the solar plexus and balances the energies in this area. It stimulates the wood element, which represents new beginnings, and the earth element, which gives life its depth. The heart, stomach, liver, duodenum, gallbladder, spleen, 
pancreas, and kidneys profit from the Matangi Mudra. An excited heart becomes noticeably more calm, and inner tension, such as diverse spasms or sensations of fullness that hamper digestion, are resolved. According to Kim Da Silva, this mudra also relieves vague pain and tension in the jaw. Shepana Mudra, the gesture of pouring out and letting go. Place your index fingers flat against each other. Clasp the rest of your fingers and let the finger pads rest on the back of your hands. Cross your thumbs and place each in the hollow of the other thumb. There is a small hollow space between your hands. When seated, point the index fingers to the ground. When lying down, point them in the direction of your feet. Completely relax both hands. Hold this mudra for just seven to 15 breaths and concentrate on your exhalation. Sigh deeply three times while you do this. Then place your hands on your thighs with palms turned upward. The Kshepana Mudra stimulates elimination through the large intestine, skin, perspiration, and lungs, improves exhalation, as well as removing expended energies. It should not be held for too long, because fresh energy is also caused to flow out after several breaths. In addition, it promotes the release of all types of tension. When we find ourselves in the midst of many people, we also absorb much of their negative energy particularly if our own energy level is too low. This mudra encourages expended or negative energy to flow away, followed by the absorption of fresh and positive energy. In short, practice the mudras in silence and remain persistent and mindful while doing them. Always seek new solutions and remain open for something new. Always expect the best and be happy about what is waiting. I will keep my fingers crossed for all of you. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel and sharing this video with other people that will benefit from this type of content. Until next time, thanks for watching.